In the realm of Daoist magic, there exists a profound understanding of the power of thought and intention. It is believed that the human mind possesses the ability to give shape and life to energetic entities known as egregores. These entities, products of directed thoughts and emotions, hold the potential to manifest their presence beyond the confines of the mind. Drawing from the idea that the mind mirrors the universe, it is understood that whatever impacts the mind can reverberate through the cosmos. Each individual possesses the capability to shape and guide these energetic beings, which are sometimes referred to as thought form entities. Through focused intention, a thought form can be harnessed to materialize the desires of the individual who created it. These thought forms exhibit a degree of awareness and comprehension of their surroundings and purpose. They can be endowed with varying levels of intelligence, shaped by the intentions of the creator. For instance, they might influence thoughts and actions, enhance mental faculties, or provide protection against negative influences. A Taoist priest, with deliberate actions and intentions, crafts these thought forms to conform to their conceptual purpose. Through mastery of Kai, the fundamental energy of the universe, the priest imbues the thought form with energy to achieve its purpose. Guided by eight fundamental rules, the priest shapes these thought entities. One, shape, form, and appearance. Each thought form takes on a specific appearance that aligns with its intended task. The energetic vessel of the thought form should be designed to best suit its function. Two, Goal and function. A specific purpose must be assigned to each thought form. The priest must imprint the thought form with this life purpose through their intentions and spiritual faculties, such as Shen, spirit, Ji, will, and Rai, intention. Three, naming the thought form. Each thought form is given a name that encapsulates its energetic nature. The name acts as a gateway to its form and attributes. Choosing the unique, purpose-fitting name is crucial. 4. Method of Contact The priest determines how the thought form can be summoned. Methods include audible calls, mental calls, hand seals, mudras, prayers, or rituals. Using a specific metric can imbue sound vibrations with power. 5. Housing the Thought Form when manifested in the physical realm, the thought form requires a container or housing. This acts as a resting place and prevents wandering. 6. Feeding the thought form. Energy sustains thought forms. The priest can provide energy harmonious with the thought form's purpose, either through their own ki and shen or through external sources. 7. Thought form's lifespan. Each thought form must have a predefined lifespan. The dissolution time is essential to prevent unintended consequences, as uncontrolled thought forms can persist and cause unforeseen effects. 8. Death of the thought form. Dissolution must be gentle and controlled, allowing the thought form to return to the universal energy source, the Wuji. Abrupt dissolution can lead to backlash. In Daoist magic, the creation and management of thought form entities are exercises in responsibility and caution. These entities can serve as powerful allies or potential hazards, depending on their design and purpose. Through adherence to these principles, the Daoist priest harnesses the profound potential of the mind to shape energetic manifestations in the cosmos.